This is bad. Even, dare I say, with apologies, stupid mistress. What are you so afraid of? It looks to be another would-be demon conqueror. Uh-uh-uh, not would-be, will. Easy, milady. There's no need for steel whips. <sighs> another demon with a mysterious agenda. Do you know Volgrim? I believe you two will get along. <laughs> no, milady. Where Volgrim deals in trash, Abraxas trades in class. Ah, my reputation precedes me, I see. <laughs> it does. Someone wants you dead. Ah, they can get in line. The meek always envy the strong. Isn't that right, Water? <sighs> Lovely, but the Lord of Hollows seems to think you're a meddler. You've seen the traitor? Where? Matters not. What matters is that he wants you dead, and I want to know why. You're a clever woman. It takes but one eye and half an ear to tell, so... I'll give it to you straight. That will be the home of a very, very important demon. Someone who will win this war once and for all. And I will stand by his side. The traitor doesn't like that. The traitor fears change. <laughs> Better the devil you know and all that. And what of the traitor? What does the Lord of Hollows want? Sometimes the birds win. Sometimes the bats. Balance. But the traitor... The traitor wants more. The false lord would be a false god. He would hollow this planet as he hollows souls. That is his... becoming. He sits you against me because he knows that when my lord is installed, Abraxas will find the traitor and pull the organs from his backside for what is done. Milady's job is to keep order. The Lord of Hollows believes he is order. If the lady is as the lady does, she should kill the traitor soon, before he rises. But if you're going to surprise me, please get on with it. I have an empire to build. You are quite the silver tongue demon, aren't you? The original. <laughs> it shall make a fine trophy then. Suit yourself.
Hollows. What's happening? Now! Answer me! Are you here to end me? You should know. You prophesized it. Yes, I did. And if there was ever a time to strike me down, it is here. Now. Before my becoming. So, what comes next, horseman? Abraxas said you mean to hollow the earth. That you used me to gain the power to do so. Uh, a demon who speaks true. Now I have seen everything, but Abraxas did not. Tell me. Time long ago, when I belonged to the Charred Council. Liar! Is it so difficult to believe that I could be counted among their number? I was a force for balance, believed in the work of the Council. But after eons, I became disenfranchised. Their feeble lip service toward the very concept of maintaining balance became all too dogmatic. They quickly reduced their focus to policing the forces of heaven and hell. But in doing so, they did not account for humanity. Humanity? They are but- Hairless simian. Yes. Playthings of angels and demons, the forgotten class. But they were meant for so much more. Humans were always meant to embody the universal balance. They were created to evolve. You flatter them. No. I simply do not fear them as others do. Someone means to prevent humanity from reaching its full potential. They did so with this premature war. And the Council 
allowed it to happen or no. I cannot prove it. I was removed from their ranks long ago. But I heard whispers and saw the signs. Thus I prepared my gathering of souls from angels, from demons, from humans. It's an endeavor meant to offer humanity the opportunity to see its potential realized. My final penance for a lifetime of complicity. Ah! I don't understand! I am the vessel. You are the guardian. As I said when we met, to achieve balance and save this world from heaven and hell, one must choose a side. I have chosen mine. It's you, Fury. Now, what do you choose? Uh, 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 I choose... life. It is a good feeling to have a purpose again. Isn't it? He was mad. Mad as the rest. Something else you want to tell me, mistress? Yes. I'm tired of demons with delusions of grandeur. What would you ask of this? Please take your time. 